Hey guys, it's Tomato da. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this phone grip holder for your phone. The centerpiece is an acrylic charm, but you can replace it with any other centerpiece you'd like, such as a resin piece or a polymer clay piece or some shit you found in the garbage. First, you're going to start off with a phone grip base. I bought this one off of AliExpress. They have round ones, mirror ones, and other types in case you're interested. Just look around the site. Taking some double-sided tape, attach it onto the back. And I know it doesn't stick very well, but we just need it to stick well enough so that it doesn't shift around while we work on it. As you can see, it provides a good enough grip. Then, taking a cotton pad, soak it with acetone and rub the surface. My cotton pad here is a bit different than normal. I also got this one on AliExpress. It's supposed to lessen the amount of acetone being soaked, I guess, but I don't know because it's really new to me. Can't say if I like it or not yet. And if you can see, the acetone did eat away at the shiny surface a bit, which will provide a grip for the resin later on. Next. Take your centerpiece. I'm going to use my acrylic charm. This is not a sponsored video by the way, but for those of you who saw my first Vogue's video, this is the same acrylic charm from my first order. And on that video, a few of you asked me when I ordered it without holes if it really didn't come with holes. And the answer is yeah, as you can see, there's no hole for the keyring. I purposely ordered them like this so that I can make them into other things, and this being one of them. The back side does have a film which is very hard to remove actually, so I have to use a knife which scratches the back surface. It's not a big problem for me because I need a rough surface on the back anyways to provide more adhesion. However, if this was just a regular charm or keychain, that's pretty fucked. Good news is though, the second time I ordered the rainbow acrylics from Vogue Race, they actually changed the peel off backing to something that is a lot easier to remove so I didn't have to scratch anything. Here, using your knife, make some scratches on the back for a better grip and use acetone to rub off any dirt or oil. Then set it aside and we're gonna start mixing our epoxy resin. This resin is a new resin I bought. It's from the same brand that I always use, but this one has extra UV protection and it's more expensive. This is the first time I'm using it, and when I opened the bottle, there was actually no silver foil covering that you typically have to peel off. It's just opened, which kind of surprised me. Either way, we're going to pour the minimal amount of resin that we can, which for me is 5 milliliters total. So I'm going to pour 2.5 milliliters of part A and 2.5 milliliters of part B. When working with a smaller amount of resin, try to be as accurate as possible because being just a little over or a little under will kind of ruin the cure from my experience. Like in big batches, even if you're a little bit over or a little bit under, it doesn't hinder anything that much. It's like a drop in a bucket, but for smaller batches, it's more sensitive. Here I'm pouring part B. And after part B is finished, mix up your resin thoroughly at a moderate pace. It's been a while since I've crafted, so I forgot to gear up. But don't forget to gear up, guys. I had to stop and put on my mask and open up a window. Anyways, after mixing, add in some gold flakes or glitter if that is your choice and mix it in. Then dump it onto the surface of the phone grip. Spread it around and make sure you cover the full surface as if you are doming a regular resin piece. Make sure to be careful to not spill over the resin cause then you're fucked. Now plop your centerpiece right in the middle. Make sure it's centered well enough and use a lighter to pop all the bubbles. Just several quick passes, don't burn or melt anything. Here, I'm going to use this diorama grass. It's from Michaels and it's for like 
diorama miniature landscaping to like replicate fake grass for mini houses or something. And it came in two bags, one with green grass and one with this cherry blossom type of grass. And I just put them in bottles to organize it because the bags weren't Ziplocs. But yeah, taking some of this cherry blossom grass and using a tweezer, place it on the edge of the phone grip to outline the heart. One thing to note is that these fake grass from Michaels is actually made out of sponge-like material. So once they end up on the phone grip, it'll start soaking up the resin. You're gonna see less resin hanging around in the center. And once the resin is cured, the spongy soft grass is going to harden up, which is good because that means that, you know, it's not removable when you use your phone. If the fake cherry blossom grass does shift around or move towards the center, just push it back. Once that part is done, go ahead and add in any extra small decorations you like, such as rhinestones or nail art embellishments. And because the resin in the center of the grip is very shallow now, I'm going to just add a few more drops of resin to plump it up. Time to let it cure. I do recommend for the first hour that you kind of check up on it several times to make sure that nothing has shifted out of place. After that, the resin should get more tacky so things won't move around as much. And when that happens, just wait however long until the resin is fully cured. I usually wait until the next day. Here's what it looks like when it is all cured. Phone grip is finished. I even bought a new phone case to match the rainbow acrylic. Unfortunately, I put I put the grip on incorrectly. It was too much to the right and I was just like, fuck my life. So I forcefully removed it, which ended up fucking up the sticker on the back side. Luckily, as a hoarder, I had these extra foam sticker sheets that worked perfectly as a replacement. But I did also end up chipping up a lot of my nail polish in the process. Um, I guess that just comes with the territory of crafting. My phone grip and case is a complete set and it looks just like how I wanted it to so I can move on with my life now. And that is all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.